right, guys, we are going to talk about Red Dead Redemption, conversation, discussion, review. To my left, Sawyer, Sean Payno, man of the hour, great, great guest. Here he is. A lot, yeah. lot to control Woo. about a game I, ne- I didn't play. Woo. Okay, well, well. But you've watched more than we've played. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully that will True. help. Hopefully that will help. To my right, Dustin, Alameda, Mexico. My Namaste. reviewer, co-partner, co-pilot, game playing master. All right, so Sometimes. what are our thoughts? Let's start with, uh, let's just start with graphics. Graphically, what are we thinking about this game? So, wait, what consoles are you playing on? I'm playing on a PS4. Xbox One. One, just... Just, just base versions for both yeah. of them? Yeah, base versions for both. So I'm not 4 k it or the Xbox... Like, the Xbox One X don't even have it, or a Pro. Oh, man, but that is... But apparently they're... Ooh. Yeah, apparently I've heard that once you get on 4K with the Xbox One X, it's, like, crazy good. Like, crazy, crazy pretty. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. I think it's pretty without even the yeah. thing, without the 4K madness, personally. But uh, graphically, I think it's one of the best games I've ever seen on a console. Yeah. I can't... I don't even... Uh, I can't even think of any really Graphics better. Graphics so good, I can almost smell the horse manure. Yeah, there's like, and I don't know yeah. if it's so much that it's like the graphics themselves. It's just that everything is so detailed. Yeah. That there's not like any space where you're like, oh, this wasn't like handcrafted something. You know what I mean? This took eight hour or eight years to make. You can see that it took eight years to make. Like I think the first thunderstorm. Yeah, I was in. I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Yeah, like the skyboxes are crazy cool. Like it, it gets wilderness unlike any other game I've ever played, like it, or seen. Like wilderness in video games, they are getting better, but I feel like there's just something not foresty enough about it. It doesn't feel real enough to me. It still feels kind of video gaming, but there's moments in this where I'm like, "Yeah, this is this is basically a forest. This is what it looks like." Yeah. So very pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Amazing. Do you think so, Soy? What do you think I, from what you've seen? I think eight years of development, it got to the point where the artists were like, "What can else can we do?" <laughs> yeah, and go. It's we so still have detailed. three more years. <laughs> Going into like the stores, even there's like just cans and items. Like yeah. everything is like touchable, movable, grabbable, and it's just crazy. It's like. It's like Shinum 1 and 2. Yeah, Shinum. You can open every drawer. Yeah, it's like... Look at that old man's <laughs> underpants, but it's in high def. Yeah, exactly. It's Shinmu, uh grand scale, but like it has a little more purpose. <laughs> but I, yeah, it has that same... Uh, oh, Robin people never craziness. felt so good. Yeah, it's really cool. So the detail is amazing. I will say, as gorgeous as it is... Uh, it's still stylized to the point where it's not realistic at all to me. It's still yeah. just... 100 percent western video game yeah i can see it a little bit but i think it is visually there are literally like the draw distance stuff things that are like the mountains in the background those are almost photorealistic you know what i mean they yeah, really the, are the backgrounds are gorgeous yeah i mean like the, de- the actual area that the you're area playing, is you're still playing, playing. you're still playing a video game. your play space is still but i feel game, like this is which probably is where i want it to be yeah this is probably yeah i don't know if i want to get to photorealistic i don't know if i want to be killing people like that you know so i think it's really pretty it's amazing it's nice to see rockstar do a game that's not based off an old engine like grand theft auto or the last one i played was on the switch and it was la noir and oh my gosh it's just it's just dated you know so and i even was looking at games recently like i was looking at witcher 3 reviews and stuff because you know i haven't played it yet that's a game that people said was gorgeous beautiful i look at that game and i'm like yeah Grand Theft Auto looks way better than this game. Way better than this game. Like, visually and stuff. You mean Red Dead? Or Red Dead Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, I was but like, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto doesn't like, look that sorry. great. Anger level spike. <laughs> oh, sorry. Which is beautiful. Sorry. Red uh, Dead Redemption, yeah, too, does. I'd Anyways. say The Witcher is just a step under this. Yeah. Yeah, but even really look at it again, the visual, like, facial animations are way better in Red Dead. Yeah. Like, oh, even the true. way, like, skin looks, like, there's pinkness. You can see light reflecting through the nose sometimes. There's some really cool stuff. Yeah. So, visually. Gameplay, 
Uh, <laughs> where are we going on gameplay, Max? <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Soy thinks this is the failure. This is where the game drops off. This is the end. What do you? So tell us why, Soy. Okay. From what you see. So, so I haven't played it, so I can't speak from personal experience. Yeah. But everything I hear is the controls are terrible. I accidentally did this because the <laughs> controls suck. Yeah. I was trying to do something, and I did something completely else because the controls suck. The the HUD, everything is just bad. Yeah. Like, they, they didn't focus enough on the whole video game part of a video game. Yeah. Because if your gameplay is bad, or your controls are bad then your video game suffers a lot and it yeah. tears you from the story. I do feel like there is a pretty big learning curve. It's a huge learning curve. Especially like they didn't <laughs> teach you how to fist fight. Yeah. Apparently it, you can block and stuff. Yeah, you can. But Except one like, time I had a glitch where I couldn't block and the guy just beat me to death. <laughs> anyway, so it's like there's certain... You're right. It is a way big learning curve. Yeah, it is like... It is super sensitive. Even controls. like from like the... Because uh, there's like a three-hour introduction to this game, basically, where you're running through the mountains and the snow. And even after that, you aren't... I wasn't comfortable with the controls. I'm I'm probably eight hours in, maybe. Yeah. And maybe ten. And I'm just barely getting there. Like, I'm just like, okay, now I'm feeling more comfortable with this. Right. But if your controls are that sloppy, like that you have to get 10 hours into a game to finally be like, okay, I can kind of play this. It reminds me of like uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Beautiful game. Amazing game. Like artistic game. Wonderful. But like when you play it, it is just like the controls just do not make sense. They're just like your arrow button shouldn't be there. Your jump button shouldn't be there. It's like... These weird clunky things that you just like you're fighting with the controls. And this is the same thing. You're just fighting with these controls the whole time. I don't think the gameplay is horrible. Moment to moment, there's really fun moments that happen. Like the interaction and stuff is pretty cool. There's yeah. like it's very seamless. I feel like a lot of other games are very um you you get your mission and it starts kind of thing. And this one you're kind of like run into the moments more often. Some RPGs do do that. You know, you run into the moment, the guy's like, oh, help me. But this one, there's a, a lot more of that. Yeah, you will miss a lot of those. Yeah, there's... Where are you? <laughs> yeah. people... You're a white blip on my map, but I can't find you. Yeah, there's like people yelling. There's tons of random moments where there's like... I think there was like a woman that I think was being captured because of her race. So I saved her. And then there was like another dude that was also being captured by a couple of gang members because they're bounty like hunters. bounty hunters yeah i think those ones are because they were the like police. hey I, I was like these are my he said something about his brother or something so i saved him anyway so there's those the kind of moments that are really good so i have a question have you either of you played with the map or the hud whatever it is on your phone like the <laughs> companion app not no. yet yeah are you planning on it no I don't like companion apps, but I, uh, this one sounds better because you can have the map separate and it's more like you don't have to like look on the main screen. But then I have to look down on my phone and then try to I've like click on the map. Of... I never liked that with Xbox Glass. Hated it with the Wii U. So uh, no thanks. But So you hated the Wii U? Completely? Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> basically. I love the games, but holy crap, that Man, system Who was didn't a joke. hate the Wii U? Yeah. I didn't mind it. Listen, when we look back, it's a sad time. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> sad time <laughs> for true. Nintendo. <laughs> uh, so as far as mechanics go, you're all right. I feel like almost in every other aspect, I feel like the story is good. I kind of like the slower pace. It's really spaghetti westerny, which is like a western that knows that it's going to be long. That you're going to be in for the long haul. This is going to be one of those movies kind of game things where you're like, well, this is going to be forever. And this is a 60 hour story. I expected a 60 hour story. So I mean, for it me, definitely took 60 hours to download. Yeah. You're 84, <laughs> 85. It was like 90 gigs, 90, almost 100 gigs. And, and I, the 4K version. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. Is like 150. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like my internet's been acting. Yeah. A fool. So Dude. I was like, started. Got it the night it came out. Started yeah. downloading it. It got like two percent by the next morning. <laughs> oh, and I was dude. like, yeah. "All right, internet, forget you." Yeah, yeah. My internet's took, bad. It took, it took, a took a me a while too. Yeah. So I think ten for visuals, especially yeah. for nowadays. I think this might be one of the highest visual 
games we'll see of this generation before we head in the next especially from what i've seen already the games that we know about that are coming especially because no one has had eight years to work on something yeah else. and that's my thing rockstar has such a thing here going on where they can just you know have forever to do a game because they have money i mean this is the second second highest entertainment thing that happened money wise i think it got 700 and something million like 750 wow. million yeah and in its first couple days it's the biggest entertainment weekend se- yeah biggest year. entertainment weekend ever weekend but the one before it was rockstar you yeah, know grand, grand theft, theft auto, auto 5, 5 which hit a billion yeah but on, it came out on, on its Tuesday. first yeah on its first three days so that's pretty amazing yeah. so this means it's even higher than grand theft auto 4 which is impressive to me considering i feel like red dead wasn't as popular people aren't as westerny like soy here you know some people i aren't. love westerns oh wait come on jump in i know the mechanics so, are a little so nasty. here's my issue yeah video games yeah are about how fun they are to play yeah and even the people playing this game saying it's a great game yeah say it's not fun yeah i don't think that's completely true it's a great story game. Yeah. I don't have time for that. I, I think it is fun. I think it takes a long time to get fun. And I think that's the problem. I, I don't have time to have I, a I long understand. time to get yeah, fun. Yeah, I get it. I want a game that's always fun. See, that's what I... not 20 hours of boring and then fun. This is where I think when Grand Theft... When whatever the next game is, I'm guessing Grand Theft Auto 6 or whatever. I don't care for those games. But when they come out with that game, they really need to update their combat system. We know what a good third-person shooter should be like. Well, we know that. We know it. It's like, why are you, why are we like running away from a good cover system? The, Gears of War showed us how to make these games. The Hauser brothers aren't working on a GTA 6 currently. Yeah, because they don't. Yeah, Because the political bodies are a little too... <laughs> uh, I don't blame them. Both sides are crazy. <laughs> yep. Y'all crazy, y'all. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go there. <laughs> so I think... Um, that needs to be improved i wish that was improved now it's strange to me that they're holding on to this relic of gameplay like this feels the same as grand theft auto 4 and i played that forever ago forever ago yeah it's an old one it's it's kind of weird to like uh even be working with these same mechanics and then adding all these like details that you have to do all these minutiae of you know you got to feed yourself you got to do all this stuff Zelda did similar aspects. It was about survival. It was about eating. It was about keeping different clothing when you're in different temperatures, all that stuff. But Zelda had a streamlined look. You knew what you were doing. These clothes make you hot. These clothes make you cold. You're cold now because you're shivering. You're warm. It's like you eat to be healthy. Like, the, you know, but this one is similar. But there's just so many little details that i almost hey look you're almost underweight too much well how much do i need to get to get healthy yeah, weight exactly i don't know you haven't told the game <laughs> yeah zmis not... are inaccurate anyways <laughs> jeez what are you judging off of i look fine so i that's my issue is the minutia might be too much for people i could see it i could see the mechanics being a turn off easily but for me the world is one of the best yeah. i've ever played the story so far I mean, we're only 10 hours, maybe it's so too in. Too slow. It's good, but slow. But i that's what I expect. Uh, I hope it pays off in the end, like Red Dead Redemption did. They have the best ending, I think, of any video game. And I'm i am almost... So, the the one that sad thing is I feel like I know how it's going to end. Yeah. Well, just, we kind of do. because it's a prequel. Yeah, we already I'm pretty know. sure you're going to end up playing as John yeah. at the end like you played as his son at the yeah. end of the second and that having first John one. kills maybe maybe John will kill you who yeah. you've been playing something like that I'm hopefully trying. that's not spoilers that's just us assuming yes. theories theories that, that is a theory but I'm like okay they did I it I think that'd be a cool they way did it with to Red go Dead, out yeah where you know the main character dies and you play as the son yeah Jack and then I'm, I have a feeling that this one's going to be similar to I that. I think that'd be a cool way to go out, especially in the beginning. There seems to be some kind of conflict between John and Arthur. Arthur. Yeah, they do. That's not my like other problem. Right yeah, yeah. And Arthur is a good character, but he's not like a character that is as memorable as John for me right now. Everyone else around him is good. So it's the good gang kind of thing going. Which I think is good. I think it's fine to have a yeah. character piece rather than a single character. And sometimes if you're focus on one character so much you don't care about all the other people so i like that they kind of focus away from them 
All right. So have you guys been going? Uh, what is it? Black hat, white hat? How, how's your playthrough? I'm Did going. <laughs> I'm going good. But I I play my games how I feel like the character would be. Yeah. And I feel like he's a good guy, but he's also a bad guy. Like there's one part where uh, I don't. I don't remember if it was a mission or if it was just something, some side quest I did where he's like, we don't rob good people. These are just good people trying to get by. We yeah. rob, you know, other bad people. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right. Yeah. I got you, Arthur. Yeah. So We're going to kill every scum we <laughs> see. Yeah. So I feel like he he is. But I have robbed a couple stores. Yeah. But because I'm like, why not? I need some money. Well, and I feel like he My would... gang's struggling right now. And I feel like he would do that. Like, I feel like his gang is more important than everyone else. Yeah. So it's like, Yeah. I want to be the best guy possible, but if my gang is in fact, you know, affected in any way, then I'm going to kill you or I'm going to hurt you. My problem is sometimes he's like tries to go good and then he does something really awful like those lone missions where he's beating people and I'm like, "Well, you don't seem that good." But he you can tell that he has like these moments of heart. So we'll see how I hope he changes. I hope there's a little bit of an arc there. So uh, do you feel like the same? So one of the complaints I've heard is they were trying to play good. Yeah. And they feel like no matter what, Arthur's pretty evil. Yeah, this and is the Greg Miller complaint. Uh yeah, I've heard it a couple other places. Kind of but funny. Greg Miller, yeah. Yeah, I think he's wrong about that because I think John was evil also. But he did he was trying to be good also. Yeah. And I feel like this guy is a little more darker than John, but he's still good he like he still has a heart in him yeah like he cares about people he cares about relationship he, relationships he's had in the past and, and he even cares about people that are around him in some way and the game almost like forces you more to do good just because doing bad is really painful like it's like it really sucks to do bad because cops will be on you in a second or someone sees that you killed someone and they run off then you have to kill that person and then they Get or caught, just, you know, you, I mean, you can't decide, line. like, okay, I'm going to threaten you. Yeah. And if they say, okay, I won't say anything, let them go. Yeah, then but you're what, fine. Yeah. What if there was a witness to that, too? And then you have to track down that witness. <laughs> that's not a, yeah. There's the, chain witnesses. That's There's the, chain that's witnesses. The issue. Yeah. But I, I feel like it's just a little more mask difficult. Up. Mask that's up. Put your mask I have on. a mask up. Yeah, dang it. Anyway, so I I get where he's coming from, but I don't think it's that. I think mostly it's the mechanics that are the worst yeah. part about this game. And that's it. And it it says something that I would give this game maybe like a 9.5, even though that the mechanics are not great. Like, it's that good of a game world. Yeah. And an, and it's fun to be in that world in some way. Like, it's fun to be a cowboy, even if it's somewhat clunky and it takes 10 hours to get to a point where you're like, okay, I can shoot people without being too annoyed. Then I feel like... It's all about the quick game. Yeah. <laughs> Just let go of that trigger and then, then point in the point, direction point. and aim again yeah. <laughs> and a little bit up and Yep, and you got it. Yeah, so I don't know. I think for me this is a nine five. Max, what do you think? Nine to five? Probably about that. Nine, yeah, it's not a perfect. Eight, this ain't a five, nine. Nine? Eight, five, nine. <laughs> You're dropping low. Seven, six, five. <laughs> no, I, I like it's it. You know, eight. <laughs> and I'm weird. And I'll admit that because, yeah. like, bad mechanics don't necessarily turn me off of a game. Yeah. Like, it's, for me, it's like, okay, it was a little frustrating, but I've learned my mistakes. Yeah. And I learned them quick. Yeah. So you're good to go. And I'm like, the combat I, doesn't bother me it, at all. It, uh, it's, yeah, I think it's fine. But it, it if it's, you're good. It, it's, a, it's aging, though. You guys just have to be good <laughs> at it, okay? Listen, homie. Stop so thinking. Do you, do you agree with the tens across the board for several parties? I don't agree with tens on many games. I think, yeah, I think they're over. This is gets the, this gets the Rockstar bump. Like Nintendo gets the Nintendo bump. Yeah. Everyone, your Zelda games aren't perfect tens. They are well, bad. See, if it like can the make last me... one could have had real dungeons in it, that would have been a ten. Uh, those <laughs> those stupid monsters. A hey, they ain't dun- those aren't dungeons. Those were like twenty minutes of very poor puzzles, puzzles and... that I could do in like not even thinking they were yeah. like the most non-thinking puzzles i've ever done in a game those are not dungeons i'm sorry no but they could fix that that's not a 10 nintendo just gets the bump you know and it's and so does rockstar grand theft autos those games are fine but this mechanic thing has lasted forever you guys are rockstar you have money you have seen games that are more fun to play shooter wise like 
anyone. You anyone. Had eight years to develop. Anyone. You could Call choose of Duty gets a anyone. New game every year. Yeah, you could yeah. choose Ubisoft's model. You could choose Gears of War, which has been out for how long? They've got that one figured out. It's like just follow them. That's all, and you'll have a perfect game. So, okay. I don't know. I dig it. Go see. And also, like a side note, go check out like the glitches and stuff. They are some funny ones. IGN showed some videos of it. Uh, I think it was like 20 funny glitches or something. Uh, there's like horses that randomly just burst into flames. It is the most funny thing. They just all of a sudden, <laughs> they just start burning. It's like the weirdest thing. And then there's like, there's like some pile up. So there's like a guy on an edge and like, one guy runs into him and he falls off the cliff and then another guy runs into him. There's like six people falling all over this cliff. It was really funny. So there's some really fun glitches that every one of these games has. Open world games with their glitches are hilarious. Well, I will give Rockstar props. Yeah. They put cheats in the game. Yeah, thank gosh. Like, we need more cheat codes in our lives, right? Thank you for putting cheats in a solo, like, single-player game. Yeah, just if you want to change your gameplay, do They always put cheats it. in, though. They I do, know. which is awesome. It's I'm like an it old-school thing. Give them props for Rockstar yeah. for keeping it alive, keeping thank it you. real. Yeah, I would like more games like that, for I sure. I don't like your games, Rockstar, but good job. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for our review. Uh, if you guys want more stuff like this, just listen to our other videos from We Do Games. We'll see ya. Bye.